I'm Tom Denby, this is Clubhouse Golf, and these are the new tailor-made Sim 2 Max Irons. So we're fortunate to be joined by Dan from TaylorMade here, who's going to give us the, the lowdown of exactly what the Sim 2 Max irons are. So if you don't mind, Dan, I'll just hit a few and yep. just give us an idea of the, the tech that's involved, the kind of enhancements from last year. Yeah, I mean, obviously we want to build on what was a successful game improvement iron for us last year in, in, in the Sim family. Yep. So if we move into the, into the Sim 2 iron this year, we certainly want to build on that foundation that, that we had last year. So yeah, yeah. Last year we brought you know a different level of, of sound and feel to a game improvement iron. You know this was really giving a, a forge feel yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to a game improvement yeah. iron for, for the first time. And you know we certainly don't want to take anything away from that. Because typically, I mean, you, an iron of this ilk would would look a bit bulky, sound a bit clicky, things like that. And you've worked hard to get rid of yeah, that. Yeah, you? obviously sometimes with you know a game improvement iron, there's there's a bit of trade off. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 everybody yeah. would love a, a you know a blade iron to. To look and perform nice and forgiving every single shot but you know there are golfers out there that do need that sometimes that little bit of extra help you know and this is where you know our family of irons in this range is certainly going to help uh, you know a huge wide range of golfers yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so to build on what what we had last year uh, into, into into the new products we've added this what we call the new cap back design all right okay yeah so again you know whether this is going to be uh sitting on a shelf or sitting you know in a golfer's bag it's yeah. given that you know, real premium, premium look to it, yeah, yeah, as yeah. well as that sound and feel of, of, of a forged iron. Now, not only is it giving you a, a, a great premium look, it's actually adding another level of, of forgiveness to, to this product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we had our speed bridge last year, and what the speed bridge yeah. does, it connected, it connected part of the iron to essentially give you more speed, but, yeah. but more forgiveness. Um, and we've been able to build on that with, with, with the cap pack design again, but giving you that essentially a more premium looking golf club as well. And the thing I like is I hit the seven iron there first and I just pulled the four iron out there. And traditionally as well, the game group, there'd be the big chunky, um, I, I suppose, design sticking out the back, but actually that's quite clean looking for a yeah. four iron, isn't it? You can't, you can see it a little bit, but. There's certainly been, um, you know, this type of, uh, you know, of an iron has certainly evolved over the years. You know, you think, you know, 10 years ago, a game of proven iron, as you said, loads of offset, real chunky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. You know, it, it's it, it's able to, to refine that, give the performance of of something that's going to go long, it's going to go high, it's yeah, forgiving. Yeah, 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 yeah. But to get it in the package that looks great is is obviously a winner. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if I pull nine iron out there, and the good the thing I like about the thing I don't like to look on with with irons, obviously, especially shorter irons, is that kind of looks like a spade. Whereas fortunately, it doesn't, does it? It's, it's still quite a clean look. It's got a nice shape to it. so easy to hit which is which is i suppose the whole idea isn't it really <laughs> yeah though you know they're built for you know for ease of use all different variants of lies it's going to pop up into the air you know yeah, a lot yeah, easier yeah. you know I, you know for, for 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 when we're looking at this type of product it's going to give the golfer and kbs max is standard kbs it's, a, it's an evolution of their product is kbs max mt yeah um which is going to give you know nice high trajectory uh, good descent angle coming into the green essentially give you more control yeah, when, yeah, you're, yeah. when you're searching for pins. Yeah, yeah. And the thing I like that, that a lot of manufacturers are looking at, but especially you guys, is that the, the set makeup now is four to A wedge, and the A wedge, obviously, with a stronger loss, is kind of becoming the wedge. It is, you know, it's, yeah. a, it's a strong argument, but. I'd, I'd even say, um, you know, as a, as a counter to that, there is no standard. You know, no, if a golfer no, no, no. needs six to sand wedge, but yeah, we yeah. plug in hybrids because maybe yes. that the golfer needs something that is going to pop up in the air a little bit higher. Yeah, in yeah, the yeah. longer irons, maybe they'll struggle, so a hybrid will come in. So that's where, you know, us as a company, we will fit the golfer for what they need. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll see golfers during the year that maybe only need seven irons to sand wedge or six irons to sand wedge, and then we'll plug in the hybrids or the fairways yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to, 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 to dial their game in. And I was chatting to somebody the other day anyway, saying that actually, even though the lofts are stronger, but the, the whole reason they're stronger is because of technology, yeah. you know, so, so the, the tech launches the ball higher. So really what you're creating is, yes, stronger loft, but you're just allowing it to fly like a seven iron should. Exactly, uh, you know, and that's a, a bit of a, um, a bit of a gripe for me is when sometimes say to me, you know, um, well, you've only made the loft stronger, that's why they're going to go further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, we yeah. make the loft of a six, if we make a, a seven iron 
the loft of a six iron, yeah. you're going to flight it like a six iron. 100%. It's going to come yeah, flat yeah. with not yeah, enough yeah. spin and not enough descent angle to gain yeah. control onto the green. So there has to be technology to back that up. So what you find in, in general in a game improvement iron and with these, the center of gravity is lower. Yeah. It's a bit more weight to get the ball up in the air yeah. to, to, to make sure you're hitting them windows. So that's why maybe if you make a seven iron and a sim two max iron relevant to a P7 MB in our blades, yeah. yes, the lofts are gonna be different, but you're comparing apples and oranges. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really, really nice. I like the fact they've got the lampkin grip on there. I like the fact it's got the, the, the guide in the back there as well, which has yeah, been long it, forgotten yeah, over years. But You know, it's a premium, you know, market shaft there and a KBS. Yeah. What, what golfers are going to be able to do with, with, with our game improvement family this year in Irons, they can order any shaft from our tailor-made range to get into, into, into that head, which is a real winner for yeah. us and anybody that really wants a custom product and drive their game in. Perfect. Love the look at it, look, really like the feel of it, I really like the sound of it, so they've really got a great product here. So really impressed the Sim2 Max Irons from TaylorMade. They've got a great product. It's, they've really nailed down their technologies, so it's a really, really impressive iron.